Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about nullable variables. If there is a variable a for which there is a production of the form a derives empty string, then a is a nullable variable. And if there is a variable x for which there is a production x derives y1, y2, y3 up to yn. And symbols y1, y2, y3 up to yn are all nullable variables. Then x is a nullable variable. Now how we can find nullable variables from a given grammar g? Now there is an algorithm to find nullable variables of a given grammar g where g is defined by a quadruple vtps where v is the set of variables t is the set of terminals p is the set of productions and s is the start symbol so so how we can find nullable variables from grammar g first of all make a set n and add those variables a for which there is a production of the form a derives empty string in set p of grammar g. After this, repeat step 2 while n changes. Now what we have to do in step 2? In step 2, we will add those variables b to n for which there are productions of the form b derives alpha where alpha is a string of variables which are already present in set n the set n which we will get at last will contain all the nullable variables of grammar g it would be now it would be more clear after this example. Suppose there is a grammar G whose productions are given to us. Now we have to find the nullable variables of this grammar G. Now these productions are given to us. These are of grammar G. S drives A, C, B, B. A drives B, C. B drives B. B drives empty string. C drives T, C drives empty string and T drives T. First of all, we will make a set N. Now see the productions. P drives empty string, C drives empty string. So what will we do? We will add variables B and C to set N. Now see this production. A drives B, C. Now B and C are already present in set N. So what does it mean? It means A is also a nullable variable. So we will add A to set N. So now N will contain three variables A, B and C. Now there is no variable to which we can add to the set n right so n is the required set of nullable variables right so it means uh, the grammar g whose productions are these it has three nullable variables this grammar g has three nullable variables a B and C. Thank you very much.